Okay, this is the third and final plant tutorial for today. What we're going to do is create a 3D tree in Blender and add branches and foliage using 3D geometry and 2D textures. So it's going to be very similar to how we made our plant before, just a little more involved. Um, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender and uh, go to File and New and choose Reload Startup File. Okay, and that's going to give us our cube back. Um, and just like last time, we're going to hit the X button and delete that cube, and then do Shift A and add a cylinder. Okay? So I'm not actually going to shrink this down uh, because um, it's a tree, so it's going to be kind of big. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go into edit mode. So switch from object mode to edit mode. And we're going to look at our cylinder, and I want to select face, the face select tool. So vertex, edge, face, I want the face tool. We're just going to drag it straight up with our Z tool. And we're going to get this nice big tree. Um, so the first thing I want to do is create more of like a trunk down here, like a little base to the tree. Um, so uh, I'm going to do that by extruding. So I'm going to right click on the bottom face here, uh, just so I select that, and then hit the E key to extrude out a little bit. Um, probably about one. So you see we have this little base now. I'm going to hit the S key um, to scale it up. And so we kind of have this basic little like light post. And so what I'm going to do is switch to edge select. And select some of these edges. And just like when we were deforming our rock, I want to start making kind of like a, a tree base root structure. Okay, so I'm just, oops, not that one. I'm going around selecting different little edges, kind of moving them and deforming them. Uh, one thing to note is you never want to drag uh, your your parts um, in uh, in through each other, okay? So see how that starts looking kind of weird? You always want the outside of your tree, of your model, to be kind of showing. Um, so just when you're dragging, just try and keep, make sure you're not overlapping any other parts. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, maybe drag a couple of these up. Um, and it looks like, it still looks like a little maybe basic right now, but we can always add more detail later. Um, but yeah, so if I so if I switch back to object mode, get a better look, you see we have kind of a tree trunk base there. So now we want to kind of deform the trunk a little bit. So we're going to do that with our uh, wonderful loop cut. So control R, look at this pink line. Drag it down a little to maybe right about there. Let's just give this tree a little knob. So I'm going to hit S and scale it out a little. You get like a little fat, little fat growth there. And I'm going to do another uh, loop cut. So Control R, put my mouse over the cylinder, click, drag down, and left click again, and uh, hit S and scale that in a little bit more. Um, so now you can see we're starting to get kind of a deformed tree shape. Uh, and then I'm going to grab one of these faces. So I'm going to switch from Edge Select tool to Face Select. Grab a face, drag it in. Oh, uh, so maybe. Uh, so here's a new. Um, here's a new um, button. It's called the Insert Face key. So we're going to hit I, and we're going to move our mouse a little, and it's going to insert this little face in there. And it's really handy for when you want to make divots, because now I can drag it in a little and get kind of this divot. In the tree okay so that key again was uh, I and then I moved the mouse and you can see it inserted this face I'm just gonna drag it in a little so now we get kind of a bump on the tree that's not great looking so let's let's deform it a little bit more so I'm gonna do a loop cut and stretch it out and then another loop cut up here and now I'm gonna switch back to face tool select the face and scale it down a little um, so just kind of, I don't know, not really important, just kind of messing around with that. Um, uh, so um, like like with our plant, let's kind of, let's do a loop cut here at the top. We're going to put it at the top and uh, select our face and kind of scale it in a little. Okay, I'm kind of a rocket shape actually. Um, move it over, um, do another loop cut. Uh, hold Alt, select this loop cut, scale it in a little, hold Alt, select this loop cut, scale it in a little, 
Um, so we're starting to get like our tree shape here, just using loop cuts and scale tools. Um, so the one thing I wanted to show you is we can do two loop cuts really close to each other like this. What we get here is the opportunity to um, switch to face select and select maybe a couple of these and then hit the E key and we can extrude out a branch, right? Uh, and so maybe I want to move that up a little and scale it in and hit the E key, and move it up a little, scale it in. So now we have the tree going on here, this big weird branch up top, all right? And we can do that kind of all along the tree. So I'm going to do R, get a loop cut, hit R, uh, control R, get another loop cut. Great. Um, so now we have, you see we have these two close together loop cuts again. Uh, switch to the face select tool, select a couple of those faces. Maybe scale them up a little first, and then hit E, uh, S to scale in that branch, and then drag it up a little, and then E to extrude, S to scale it in again, drag it, drag it up a little. Um, you can do kind of the same technique on the branch to create a sub branch. So if we do uh, hold Control press R on the branch, so we get another loop cut. Uh, switch to the face select tool, grab this part of the branch, hit the E key. Uh, and then S to scale it down a little, maybe move it over like that, move it up a little. You can see we're starting to get some branches here, right? Okay, so you can add as many of these branches as you want, uh, make it a little more complicated. I'm just going to stop for now because I want to, uh, so I'm going to go from, so we're in edit mode, I'm going to go back to object mode, I'm going to do shift A, I'm going to add a plane, okay? So, um, so we now have this flat plane, and so it looks like you can see it from both sides, but actually in Unity you can uh, you can only see it from one side. Um, but that's okay because I want to do this a little different. What I want to do is I want to, um, uh, pardon me. I just want to create one canopy object um, in Blender and then duplicate it in Unity. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this canopy object kind of large, um, like about that big, and I'm going to hit R to rotate and uh, X to rotate on the X axis and then hit 180 and that's going to flip it over, right? Uh, so now we have this upside down, or actually, uh, let's just leave it right side up for now. So I'm going to undo that, I'm sorry. It's okay if you flipped it, but... Um, Okay, so that's going to be our canopy. This is going to be our tree trunk. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to create our second window again. So I'm going to go up to the top right to these diagonal lines, drag over a second window, go down here to this cube, okay, to our cube, and switch to UV image editor. We're going to get this uh, square. And let's do our canopy first. So I'm going to, uh, oh, and finally we want to be able to see our texture. So I'm going to switch this white sphere to texture, okay, and um, actually, how do I do that? Uh, well, it's fine for now. So, um, so on this cube. Uh, actually, let's move our light up. So I'm going to choose this light, and it's not doing anything. Oh, this is our light. So I'm going to move our light up. Move it out. Okay. Um, so I'm going to select this plane, switch from object mode to edit mode. And notice I have the, the top square selected. I'm sorry, actually, yeah, I have face select tool. Select the top square. Hit uh, U for unwrap, and then unwrap. Select unwrap. So you see we have our square unwrapped here. So now we want to open uh in um downloads so find your downloads folder plant parts and we want tree canopy and there is this tree canopy that i made which is like a green uh kind of kind of shape and so we're going to duplicate that in unity um so we don't have to worry about making a bunch of them right now uh, but what i want to do is i want to do shift a and another plane uh, which went over here for some reason I drag it in, and I have a 
a 2D tree branch. So um, I'm going to hit the R button and the Y button, and that's going to let us rotate it around the Y axis and do 90 degrees, which is going to turn it perfectly sideways. Um, and I'm just going to stick it into the tree like this and uh, maybe scale it up so it's a little bigger uh, with the S key. So S key to scale, make it a little bigger. Now I'm going to switch from object mode to edit mode on this plane. And I'm going to, uh, I want to open up a new file. So I want to open up, um, oh, I guess maybe I didn't make a branch. I thought I did. Well, if I did, I forgot to save it. So I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we'll do branches some other time, but this will work out fine because we can make our 3D branches. So I'm going to switch back to object mode, right click on this, and just hit the X key to delete it. Um, so our tree should be good for now. Uh, it's a little fat at top, and it could have a couple more branches. Um, oh, let's go, let's select the main cylinder and switch into edit mode and hit A. Uh, once to deselect everything and A again. So when it's all orange, that means everything's selected. We're going to hit uh, U for unwrap and smart UV project. Hit OK. So you can see our tree is kind of there. Uh, and now we want to open uh, our downloads, plant parts, uh, seamless bark texture. And that's going to give us uh, kind of a boring texture. So we're going to, just like last time, we're going to hit the A key over here to select all of our unwraps. Hit S to scale it up pretty big. You know, look how much bigger it is. But now you can see the bark texture is kind of repeating on the tree. So let's do um, Control Save, Control S for save. And we're going to save this. Uh, I'm saving it to my desktop as tree. And, uh, so I saved it. Now let's go to Unity and then open up our Finder. Uh, actually, go back to Unity. I'm going to open up my Models folder. And open up Finder. Now we get to desktop. Drag tree in. Um, which created a materials folder. That's fine. I'm going to drag this tree in. Uh, interesting. So this is good. So our it's a huge tree. That's fine. So our materials did not import, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, so notice um, this is invisible on the bottom. So we'll take care of that in a second. Uh, but first let's set up our materials so let's go to assets textures and we need to drag in our tree textures into unity so i'm going to um go to my downloads folder plant parts drag in seamless bark texture as well as tree canopy okay so i'm going to click on uh the tree open up the tree choose the cylinder which is the trunk and drag this seamless bark texture on. There we go, you can see it's unwrapped. I'm going to click on the, uh, I'm going to choose the plane, which is the canopy, and drag in our tree canopy. Uh, and so it's all weird looking, so we just need to open this up, switch from opaque to cutout. And so cutout means that we're just getting these nice cutout lines, right? Um, so still invisible from the bottom. So what we're going to do is we are going to select our plane, and let's name it canopy. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hold control, hit D. We get our duplicate, right? And then I'm gonna uh, go to the Y value of the rotation and do 100. Oh, not Y. Uh, so we wanna, so our, our Y value is up straight up and down now. So we wanna rotate over our X or our, our Z. Let's do our Z value, which is this blue line. So we'll do 180. Nope, that didn't work either. Let's try X. Let's change x to 0, and then y, what the hey, give me a second here. So with our rotation at 0, 0, 0, our, um, our canopy is perfectly sideways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rotation tool and see which axes we want to rotate around. So it's the red axes, and we want it to be all the way flat. So it looks like that's going to be... Uh, if I get it almost flat, it's almost to 90 here. So I'm going to change this to 90. To zero, that's a zero. Okay, so now you can see we have our canopy on both sides. Um, and so now I'm going to create, I'm going to right click on our tree, create empty, and call this uh, 
canopy se section and drag these two canopy objects into it. It's going to tell us we're going to break the prefab. That's fine. Click continue. I'm going to close that. I'm going to right click on this and hold control, hit D. And we're going to get another section. So I'm going to switch to um, move mode, drag it down a little. And uh, now I'm going to click the scale tool, scale it uh, maybe out. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll scale it in. And um, control D. And uh, to make another section, move that down. Scale tool, drag it in. Control D, drag it down. Scale tool, scale it in. Okay, so we're starting to get kind of this strange looking tree. Um, we'll, we'll do a more detailed tree when I get back. Um, so I'm going to choose the top one again. Control D, choose position, drag it up, scale it in, duplicate that one, change its position, drag it up, scale it in. Um, a game that, th that has really well made trees uh, is um, Final Fantasy XIV. So uh, after you finish this tutorial, if you want to check out some Final Fantasy XIV trees, really sick. Uh, and I want to be able to see these lights, so I'm going to add, I'm going to close my tree, nice and organized. I'm going to create and add a light, and I want to add a spotlight. Uh, and I'm going to drag that down and then rotate it towards my tree. Uh, I kind of move it. And... There we go. It's hitting my tree now. Increase its intensity. Eh, doesn't look great. I'll move it back a little. Just show off our plants a little. Um, that looks better. Uh, so that's a really basic kind of tree, but you'll notice the way that the um, uh, from down here, if you kind of look up, you get kind of this nice looking canopy going on. Uh, another way to kind of uh, make this look a, nice, a little nicer is kind of rotate these and offset them a little bit. They're casting a lot of shadows so we could probably uh, increase maybe the bounce on our directional light. Mm, doesn't seem to be working. Uh, anyway. Just this weird little scene we made, some green plants, nice green tree, little bushes, and our rock. Um, oh yeah, if you want to add a normal map uh, to the bark, you know, just duplicate the bark texture. Um, rename it normal. Change it to normal. Over here in the settings, click apply. Open up the bark. Drag our normal to our normal. Get these cool kind of lines in our bark. Uh, yeah, so that's the basics. Um, we'll go into more detail and design our own kind of plant textures and stuff when I get back. Um, uh, yeah, and um, yeah, I want to see all your plants. Uh, if, if, if you're done with this pretty quick, why don't you open up um, Photoshop or uh, whatever paint program you use and try and design some uh, maybe 2D plants or 3D plants if you want. Um, also, um, uh, feel free to edit your tree so it has more branches. And uh, I'm really sorry that I'm not there with you guys, but I'll see you on Wednesday. And um, 